three acres of land, 2,400 square feet of living space. There we go. Including a decent sized kitchen. I didn't pour the tea in yet. For this Silicon Valley hairdresser, his home is a dream come true. The uh, best thing I think I've ever done. But the commute is it's becoming really hard. Furman Vasquez's castle, however, comes with a big price tag. Lock the door. That is measured in hours on the road. This morning, he needs to leave at 6.15. Otherwise, he won't make his 8.30 appointment at his hair salon in Campbell, located right here. His house, way down here in Soledad, 90 miles and two hours and 15 minutes away. You think your commute is bad. It was a choice that we made, uh, you know, just have a better life. But, you know, facing the consequences of traffic, you know, thinking about it, you know, yeah, it's a little rough, but in due time, it's, for me, it's, it's kind of worth it. Catholic Radio is his co-pilot, a canister of tea, his fuel, his large clientele, his motivation to keep commuting 180 miles a day, four days a week. My whole clientele is out there. The money I make, no. I mean, yeah, you could do it here, but you will make half what you're making. It's my work is um, my sanctuary. You know, it's um, I, I like doing what I'm doing. That's not to say Furman sometimes doesn't regret not buying a home in the South Bay back when it was affordable and much closer to work. I mean, I had a second chance. Yes, maybe. Today, he's 15 minutes early. Traffic was lighter than usual. Ah. His commute this time around, only two hours. I'll walk in and say good morning. And a lot of my coworkers say, are you crazy? I can't believe you walk in with a smile still after all the traffic. That's life. That's how it is. You know, Furman doesn't have the longest commute in the Bay Area. We touch base with a man who lives outside of Sacramento and drives into SF. That's a commute of more than 100 miles each way. Reporting live here in Livermore, Bob Rodell, today in the Bay.